Hello, my name's Carl, I'm 2 Echo Zero Echo Zulu Tango and this is just a quick video to look at the Raycal Cougar. Um, as you know, I've got a couple of the Cougar in the collection. I've got the I've got a 2 meter version and I've got a 4 meter version. So there's lots of different uh, configurations and accessories and ancillaries that you can buy for the Cougar. And the one that I want to just look at today is the remote control unit. And this remote control unit is the the unit that you would normally see being used if the radio was tucked away, um, let's say in a car or in a building or something, and you wanted to control that radio with a much smaller control unit. So this is the, I'll just go through the process of taking the radio from a handheld configuration, which is like a walkie-talkie, and plugging that into the base unit and then we'll operate the base unit with the remote control I'm going to be using four meters because I've got the antennas just behind me so I've got a, a coax run that comes down here which which I'll route into the radio whether we'll get anybody on four meters this time in the afternoon I don't know we'll see anyway but we'll fire the radio up and I'll show you the remote control unit in action Off and screw the um, the whip. Now I've got the um, unit to go in, <clears throat> and then put the unit into place. Lock it in. Be connected. Okay, and so this is the, it's meant to be a covert remote control unit, so this is meant to be out the way, the main uh, system, and this can be attached out the way as well, but this will control, control the channels on here as well as the volume. Yep. Easier. Always easier said than done. That clicks in place. <laughs> Microphone goes to the front of this unit. It's in place. Just need to attach the uh, antenna onto here, and this should be up and running now. All right, just turn that power on. Turn this power on. <laughs> Got a light on. Yep, it was a um, startup test channel. For, I know that um, right there. <laughs> Okay, so now we can control the channels from here. So, um, this in itself, if you wanted to use this as a base uh, unit, you could just uh, use this radio with the um, remote control on top. Uh, you would have yourself a, a radio that then you can just uh, uh, take the antenna out, take it to your car. If you wanted to go for a walk somewhere, you could take out the <clears throat> uh, the handheld unit uh, and use that as, as a handheld. So uh, a, a, a fun uh, piece of decommissioned military radio gear. 
um, pretty bulletproof as well. Um, uh, you know, it's this one's had a few knocks by the looks of it, this particular unit. Uh, all still working. Um, you can get the um, accessories, the ancillaries still. Uh, there are still suppliers of um, mostly used um, equipment, but you can still get some of these units and some of these uh, ancillaries in genuine new uh, unused condition as well. So there's, there's a few still in circulation. Uh, um, this one was the Dutch police, this particular unit, so the DP on there. Um, so a, a, a really nice bit of uh, gear to have in the collection. Secure, secure, secure. This is two Echo Zero, Echo Zulu Tango. Two Echo Zero, Echo Zulu Tango. Calling secure, standing by. So I'm running, it's on medium power, that is on 10 watts. Um, put that on to full. You may hear the amplifier kick in when I key up. Secure, secure, secure. This is two Echo Zero, Echo Zulu Tango. Two Echo Zero, Echo Zulu Tango. Call us Q, standing by. When you uh, when you get these radios, you, you, most of the time you will find that you will have to um, get them programmed um, to get all your to get enough channels slotted in um, to work on the amateur bands. Uh, <clears throat> so with both of these radios, I bought. Uh, um, I, I, you can find people around that can program them. Sometimes the people that sell you the radio can program the radios for you. If you're very lucky, you might find one that uh, has already been pre-programmed and checked over. Uh, but they're they're rarer to find them set up on the amateur band. You, they normally come with frequencies all over the place, um, on between sort of around about four meter band. Um, sometimes outside of the four meter band and uh, you've got to be a bit careful with that. I'm going to call um, CQ a few more times and see if we can um, find somebody to talk to. Uh, CQ, 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 this is 2 Echo 0, Echo Zulu Tango. 2 Echo 0, Echo Zulu Tango, call CQ. Stand by for call. Right, I've um, I've just spoke to uh, Mark J Eight S A R, my um, uh, local green radio and black radio tour guide. Um, hopefully, we're gonna have a quick chat on air. Um, I want to just see what this new antenna is like, if it's any good or not. Um, six at G eight S A R two zero E Z T. Yeah, two zero E Z T. Yeah, Roger, Roger. Yeah, G eight S A R two E zero E Z T. I'll just going to, uh, just going to hold the uh, radio up in the air a bit and see if that makes any difference. Back to you. Yeah, you're barely readable. Barely readable. Yeah, Roger, Roger. Yeah, well, we're making a distance anyway, over a few houses. Um, so yeah, I'm using the uh, radio with a small little whip on it uh, and a handy talky uh, setup. But it's, it's working. You're coming through nice and clear. Uh, a nice radio five, uh, Roger. Yeah, Roger, yeah, can you get me now? Yeah, Roger, yeah, we're, 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 we'll hold it long in case we lose it again. Right, well, I hope you enjoyed that. Just a quick video, just have a look at the Ray Cal. And uh, yeah, if you like it, give me a like, please. And if you like the channel, please subscribe it really helps me uh, you can find me on uh, facebook as well just search for t-e-z-e-z-t 
and also on Instagram, uh, 20EZ here, Amateur Radio. Um, so yeah, happy, happy to chat on any channel and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye for now.